Hi, I'm Angela Wilson. I'm the program director and one of the three instructors of the Uva College Radiologic Technology Program. This video is being provided for you as an opportunity to learn about the field of radiology as well as about the college um, program. The reason that we're doing this is because in the past we have required an eight hours of observation for the students to be able to go out into the clinical field prior to them being able to submit their application. Because of different regulation changes, HIPAA and immunizations and background screening that is required in a lot of the clinical sites, a lot of the students that are applying are no longer able to do the eight hours of observation. We also have an option that we provided for a long time in the interview with the technologist. And while that interview has provided some value, still hasn't given the potential students a real opportunity to understand what the field of radiology is like and what it's like to be a student and what it's like to be in a clinical setting. Thank you, and now we'll go on with all the different um, videos. So you want to be an x-ray tech. This is a demanding field uh, with demanding patients. Uh, you'll be put, challenged quite a bit by your patients, challenged quite a bit by your co-workers, um, but it is a very rewarding field. Um, what you'll find in, in this uh, area is that um, most of your patients are not in a very good mood because they have uh, either been suffering from uh, pathology for a long time, chronic condition, or they might have just recently uh, been hurt and come through the emergency room. So what, what you got to almost think about is your patients are going to be in a, and probably think about yourself in your, your worst day, in your worst time. I'm sorry. And those are the patients that are going to be here. And now, as, as scary as that might sound, um, what you also got to realize is the majority of your patients are here to get care from you and are very compliant with what you need, you need them to do. So let's go ahead and let's walk through a few of the departments uh, right now and take a look at what the radiology and, and x-ray in specific is all about. This is a modern x-ray unit. Um, when you come in through the, you know, during the day, uh, you'll come into your shift, you'll have to clock in. Uh, typically, if you're going to be working in surgery or uh, with uh, in where there's body fluids, you'll probably have to be putting on a scrub, uh, what are called scrubs, and you get those in the surgery department. Um, after you're checked in and, and you check out your schedules for surgery, uh, for any type of uh, other procedures that are happening throughout the hospital, um, that's when you uh, are usually designated to an area to, to do work. So uh, right now, this is just a general uh, radiography unit, and uh, it just shoots uh, standard x-rays, no fluoroscopy on this one. Um, anymore in our modern radiology department, what we have is digital equipment, uh, as where in the past they would use film film-based. Um, now it's all digital. So basically what we have out here is an x-ray tube and the table where the patient would lay. Here's our monitor where we review our images. And uh, once we take the images and we review the images, we uh, make sure that we have the anatomy that we need. As an x-ray tech, we do not diagnose things. We do not tell the patients what we see. We only tell them that we have good pictures for our radiologist to read. So, um, in, in doing that, uh, what we're trying to do is get the best images possible so the doctor can make a, a correct and accurate diagnosis. In diagnostic radiology, what we do is we take pictures of bones, soft tissue, uh, just about anything that the radiologist wants to see. A radiologist is the doctor, the MD, in the radiology department. He is specialized in reading images. Right now I'm taking a picture of the knee uh, on my patient. And my patients, uh, dealing with patients day in and day out can be an interesting endeavor. Um, most of our patients are very well behaved, but we have combative patients. And we have uh, patients that have smelly feet. And, uh, you know, just all sorts of types that come through the doors. But uh, that's a day in, day out uh, endeavor, like I said, that we have to get used to. Um, it's very much a, a, a hands on job, it's a very social job. Uh, you're expected to talk with your patients, and, and uh, not too much. You've got to get your work done. This is a portable x-ray. Here is, is an x-ray machine on wheels, essentially. This is an x-ray tube. 
right here. This is what produces the x-rays that will penetrate through the patient's body. This is a cassette that will record the image. Basically, we would put this behind the patient, put the patient on top of here, shoot the image, tech, select our technique, and take, take the image. Well, as soon as that we've taken that, we can run this film over to the radiology department and process it through the computers and have that image ready for the doctor within about one or two minutes. So that is portable x-ray, and you go all over the hospital with this. Um, surgery, uh, up on the floors, um, all around, anywhere that they need um, assistance uh, or base, basically bedside radiography for those patients that are, are uh, too compromised to bring down to the department. So let's go ahead and step on over to surgery. I'm going to show you a surgery room. and. Um, before we go on the surgery, I want to show you this C-arm radiography unit. And with a C-arm unit, what we have is, well, as you can see, a very big C. And we're able to bring this over. The patients would be lying on the table. We can bring that machine in right over the top of the patient in surgery and emergency room, anytime, anywhere that they're doing a procedure where they need to have real-time radiography being, being performed. Come with me, we're going to go into surgery now. And here is an actual surgery unit. If there was a patient in here right now, we would have to have our face covered. As you see, we have the spotlights, we have a surgery table, we have an anesthesiologist uh, workspace right here. And uh, what a radiographer does in surgery is that we need to get the images for the surgeon at that time. I mean, they might be uh, cutting a certain area or they might be placing a needle or placing uh, some type of device into the patient and what they'll need to see is that where is this device at in this patient or let's say where is the pathology at, 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 this, at this given time. We use the C-arm like we saw in the hallway. We use that C-arm to come right in over the top of this, the patient in the table and we're able to see it from this direction and we can take that C and we can turn it this direction and get a lateral view also. So this is a surgery unit, and uh, if you are a radio radiographer that has a job in the hospital, you will be here. There's many positions open for you uh, in this field. Uh, many times, like what, where we just left, was the hospital, and in the hospital, of course, you're going to get more of your trauma situations. You're going to have more surgery, of course. But uh, a lot of people choose to go into a clinic environment. The clinic environment is a very nice environment, usually very clean. Uh, like this one that we're about to go into is very is modern. It has modern equipment. Uh, your patients are typically walkie-talkies, uh, walking uh, ambulatory, or they're also uh, or they could be in, in a wheelchair uh, situation. Uh, so it's it's really uh, clinics take take care of those folks that uh, that are not acute, uh, don't don't aren't critical, uh, going through the ER or need uh, need to stay over in the, in, uh, the hospital overnight. So uh, let's go ahead and take a uh, look at, at the clinic situation. Um, typically uh, in a clinic is, is you've got more of your set hours. Uh, in a hospital, uh, it's open 24-7. Here we are in a modern digital radiography unit. Um, the difference between uh, digital radiography and computer radiography is that we do, don't actually use cassettes to uh, capture our image. The, Image is uh, taken right here and it's sent right to the computer for our analysis. So this is a modern uh, DR unit that we have here. That's Sierra Valley Memorial Hospital in Grass Valley. Um, like I mentioned, in the clinical environment is that uh, you have typically uh, patients that are um, uh, ambulatory and uh, can work with you. Um, very clean environment, very modern environment, and uh, usually the people that work here. Um, really enjoy it and really enjoy the hours. So um, that's about it for the life and life of a radiographer as many, much as I can give you right now. And uh, I hope that you uh, find that this field is for you. And if you do, um, good luck getting through the program. 2,000 hours of uh, free internship is a lot to go through. So hopefully you have good support. And uh, we'll see you come through the class when you get there.